Hey guys, I'm just Mar, and today we're going to be talking about the top three upcoming new play to earn crypto games. But before I start, if you like anything about crypto, if you like anything about play to earn games, if you like having fun, then hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. So my number one game is Pepper Attack. My number two game is Plant vs. Undead and my number three game is Wonder Quest. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll briefly describe these three and why I think that they have such good potential. But first, I'm not sponsored by them and... This is not financial advice. So this game you're currently seeing is Pepper Attack. Nothing is set in stone yet because it's so early in development, but this is just a teaser demo that the developers and the team has shared to everyone in the community. You click the mine button right here. There's the there's a dungeon upgrade. All of this stuff looks very, very attractive in my opinion. And I think it's just going to get better because this is so early in development. If we go to the actual website, one reason that I put this at my number one game is because it's so cheap to get into 0.05 ethereum for one pepper and you only need one pepper to play the game that is very cheap there's also the sale ending in three days so please if you're interested in the game get it before this three days because after that these mystic peppers are not going to be available they might be burned the leftover might be burned it might be put in a vault and then be sold later on at a higher price but not to worry if you don't get it in time there's going to be more sales for regular peppers these peppers just have the ability to mine might and it's just kind of like staking them into a mine and they just mine for you and earn you their token called the might. There are also other ways to earn from this game. It's the Black Rock Dungeon. It's a little bit cut off right here, but it's called the Black Rock Dungeon and you could go in there, the dungeon, you get loot, all that good stuff, might, treasures. There's also the ability to put your pepper up for as a trainer as a private trainer and people pay you money so that they get trained by your pepper and this increases their stats and also increases your stats by a little bit if i'm not mistaken i remember reading that so that's just a quick overview a little quick snippet of what pepper attack is if you're interested in it check my video out before learn about it before you actually invest in it i'll have it on the top right as a little card so click that button if you want to learn more about pepper attack which is my number one NFT game. Now let's get to number two. My number two needs no introduction. It is Plant vs. Undead. It's just insanely popular now and the hype is being is just insane. I wish I could show you some farm gameplay, but it's under maintenance. Let's make sure it's under maintenance. Yep, under maintenance. They've been having a lot of problems with it because of how many people want to actually play this farming mode. That's not even the main game. Their main game is like uh, Plant vs. Zombies, if you guys know that game. It's Plant vs. Zombies, but play to earn aspects into that. The farming mode is basically just a farming simulator. You, you just put plant your plants there. People water for you. You can scare some crows away. I have a bunch of videos on that. Check them out, but they're more like updates on the game. I haven't really gotten really in-depth in it. And I just feel like I don't need to. There's so many videos out there to learn about this game because how popular it is. Now, I put it at number two because it's expensive to get into but it's also very fast ROI I played for three days I was not in the whitelist but I got in really early they gave me access I'm just a lucky one you know and I got 300 light energy per day and 300 light energy gets converted to 3 PVU and PVU 3 PVU right now shoot, is $40 and I have some plants, but that's just from watering other people's plants, which the developers say you should have 5 PVU to, to start that, which is $68. So the IR, so if you do that, you know, you ROI in around two days, three days. So really, really good game to get into. So number two, because to get an actual plant is pretty expensive, but you could be just a farmer and water other people's plants. And, you know, you get ROI two, three days. And another reason it's not number two, not number one, is because... It's, there's just so much going wrong with it, you know. A lot of maintenance updates, a bunch of people getting angry already. But it is in beta, so I cut them some slack. Want to learn more about it? Watch some other people's videos because there's just so many videos out there. So my number three is Wonder Quest, and it costs 0 0.088 Ethereum to mint. 0 0.0888 Ethereum to mint. One egg. And you have the ability to either hatch it or not to hatch it. And the total remaining is 763 as of now. They started at 10,000, so it's really close to being sold out. And, you know, you know what happens when things get sold out in the game. 
the prices start pumping up. But the question is, what can you do with these eggs? So, let's see if we can get to the map first. So, a little description of what this game is. It is produced by Alice in Wonderland, the music producer, music artist, and she is insanely popular, has a huge, huge following in all social platforms. And this is kind of her game telling her little story, the, the Wonder Quest, right? So with this egg, you hold a ticket to go to her concerts, listen to unreleased music, and you know just do all these parties at Decentraland. Another thing is you have access to these quests, these challenges that give you rewards, these airdrops, and they're also trying to implement a play-to-earn game later on in the road. And it's at number three because the play-to-earn aspect is a little bit further down the road, I think like a year from now. But you know, it's a good project just because the team seems solid, is being led by someone that's insanely popular, so there's almost no reason for this thing not to hold its value. Like, just her fans should get this, or would want to get this, because you could listen to her unreleased music, see her perform performances on virtual reality, and yeah, that's just what the game is. Personally, me, I invested a couple of eggs and I hatched all of mine actually. Interestingly enough, I minted, you know, I minted 1.0888 Ethereum. I have someone offering me 1.25 Ethereum on one of my eggs already. Just because they see the value in it. I, of course, I'm not going to accept it because I, I also see the value in it. And I want to hold until this sells out and just see where this project takes it. Now, those are my top three play to earn games. Upcoming new fresh at the box. If you like the content, like, comment, anything, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.